Please join me in welcoming Jordan Bischel, his wife Katie, and their three sons, Luke, Parker, and Chase, to the Bearcat family. You know, what I loved about this process is it mattered. It really mattered. Um, you know, John, I don't know where he got all the phone numbers, but he dug as far as he could to figure out what I was all about, and, and I'm glad he did that. we we got to find the right guy to be here, and, and I could not thank that, that's, that group enough for going after this to try to find the right person. That meant a lot to me. This, this program's never going to be about me. It's never going to be about our coaching staff. It's going to be about you guys. It's what you put into it. We want to make you happy. We want you to enjoy it. It's got to be fun. Uh, all these people have been telling you what a grind this is. Guys, you're playing college baseball. That's pretty darn cool. And you're doing it at a really high level. You're going to have fun doing it. That's really, really important to me. You know, when you have success, recruits say to you, well, if I come here, are you going to stay? And I said, I plan to stay. I'm only leaving here if there's an incredibly special opportunity. This is that opportunity. There's just no doubt. Um, we love the Midwest. Uh, I don't I don't want to coach way down in this is the south for me. This this is this is gonna be tropical in the winter, guys. You don't know what cold is. Um, we wanted to stay in the Midwest and this gave us the opportunity to do that. This is an awesome city. We we're driving in yesterday. We we drove by the zoo and I almost skipped the press conference just to go check out the animals there. I love the zoo. We'll we'll get there pretty quick here. But um, you know, my job is baseball coach, and this is a baseball city, right? Um, I wasn't quite born in the 70s, but the big red machine and the success, and it's a baseball town. Uh, why wouldn't I want to be a part of that? But he's got a vision for it. Um, he's going he's gonna to find the resources with his team to put us in a position where we can compete, and that meant a lot to me. I don't like losing. Um, and he has a vision to, to help us get there. And then we can compete nationally. Uh, I, think, I think we did some good things where we did that on some stages at, at CMU. Uh, but listen, in the Big 12, if you're competing, if you're doing well, you're nationally relevant, right? Uh, that's, that's an automatic. If you're competing for a Big 12 championship, you're competing for a national championship. It's just that simple. But three hours of just sitting there and watching strikeouts and walks is not a lot of fun for me. Uh, we're going to get the ball moved, and we're going to pick that thing up and take care of it. We're going to play fast. We are going to play fast, energetic, exciting baseball. Uh, hopefully some of that speed is 360 feet around the bases on home runs, uh, but, but we're going to go first to third. We're going to steal bases. We're going to bunt for base hits. It's going to be fast baseball. And, you know, I had a coach tell me this a couple of years ago, and it, it was the best compliment I had. And I said, this is always going to be my goal. He said, your team was the most difficult team we had to prepare for all year. That's going to be our goal. We want you to really hate playing us because of the way we present ourselves and the way we get after you. I called John and I said, well, I'm accepting it, but I, I better confirm that with Katie first. Uh, so I accepted it immediately contingent upon, on pa upon family improvement. Uh, he texted me yesterday, talked to me during the process. Uh, he wants to, the people I've heard from have been amazing, the, the pride in it and, and the, the support. I probably haven't even respons responded to all of them. So if you're listening, I'll get to you, I promise. Um, but yeah, I heard from him and several others. It's, it's really exciting. Everybody wants to talk about who you can attract in the portal. And I'm coming from a mid-major where people are trying to steal our guys, right? They have more scholarship, they have more facilities, they have all these different things. And I've challenged people to say, it's not my job to, to keep a team from learning about and, and recruiting you guys. It's my job to make you guys love it so much that you don't want to leave. And if you guys aren't leaving in the portal, I don't need a whole lot of the portal to, to fill the roster, but there's a piece of that. There's, there's, there's reasons guys leave, there's good fits, and you have to use that as a supplement. But, and there's a reason guys leave sometimes. There may be a guy in this program that doesn't fit, and that's okay, but the portal should be used as, as a small tool to fit certain pieces in that fit. But, but we have to create a culture that's good enough that, that it doesn't matter if an SEC school calls with a bunch of NIL money because Money doesn't replace being around where you want to be and where you're happy. I think what stood out is that um, every level he went to, he found a way to win quickly, and his teams loved to play for him. And he talked about me making calls to a lot of different people, and I certainly did that. Um, I, I talked to a lot of different people about him, and, and specifically people that, that knew him and played for him and had uh, children that played for him. And one of the things that kept coming up is just, just that they loved the game when they played. And, and they, some of them had lost some of the fun out of baseball over the years, and he brought that back. And that energy was infectious, and that, and that led him to, to have so many wins and, and one of the highest winning percentages in the country.